Hey DIYers, welcome to the September tiered tray of the month. Um, take all your pieces apart, stack all your projects together, and then I went around and wrote down what colors I wanted to use where just to help me when I am painting. Um, you will have a bunch of colors in your kit. So we're just gonna start off painting like we have in the past. You'll just grab your sponge, load it with some paint, dab some paint off, um, and this corn maze sign, I am going to paint white. So you'll see that I am kind of pulling the paint across. Feel free to do that. Um, if you want to keep your um, shiplap lines, when it's wet, you can take your X-Acto knife and run your X-Acto knife back down um, so that you can get that groove back in there. If you don't want it, then you could load up on the paint um, so that it's not shown. So paint this up. We'll put our letters on our tape to hold them down while we um, dab our letters. And then when all of our project pieces are complete, we will lay them all out, make sure we like their colors, um, and then we'll glue. Okay, once all your pieces are painted, um, as I've been going, because I've been using really thin coats of paint, I've just been stacking my project back together. So before you glue, I want you to make sure that you lay everything out, that it looks the way you want it to look before you put glue down. Um, because two things can happen. You determine you want to change a color on your project. That's totally fine. Just paint over it. Um, sometimes you'll need to put white down and then paint it the next color, depending on what it is. Um, and then the other thing is you might notice that you painted a piece backwards um, and you'll want to make sure that's fixed before you add glue. Cause if you add glue and then you realize it's backwards, you have glue on one side. Um, so then you'll end up wiping off the glue as best you can. You might need to sand and then repaint on the other side. So it's always a good idea um, to lay everything down before you start gluing and then going through and gluing each piece and setting that aside. Once I'm done gluing all these things down, all my pieces down, I might grab my paint pens and add a little detail here and there um, just to add something extra. Um, and then we'll come back and just talk about your twine that's included in your kit. You'll thread for your garland um, and any last thoughts that might happen between now and then. So keep painting, keep putting your pieces together and then gluing and we'll check back. All right, DIYers, we have completed our September box. So this is your garland. You're going to take your jute um, cording when you are done and everything is dry and you will string these up, okay? Um, but then we've created all of the project pieces. I'm really loving it. Makes me really feel like fall. Can't wait to go to the apple orchard, um, go pick pumpkins. Our garden is growing them pretty well. 
Um, so all the things. So here's all your pieces. I hope you had an awesome time creating. I can't wait to see how you paint up this tray. So join us in the Deck It Out DIYers Facebook group so we can see all of your creative projects um, that you've made this month. We'll see you guys next time.